When solving equations containing mixed numbers, it is a good idea to take those mixed numbers and rename them as improper fractions. Looking at the example we have in front of us, we are going to rename 5 and 2 fifths as an improper fraction. When renaming mixed numbers as improper fractions, remember the denominator does not change, that stays the same. But to get the numerator, it is a two-step process. Simply take the denominator and multiply it by the whole number, that would give us a product of 25, and then add that product to whatever the numerator is. In this case, the numerator is 2, and 25 plus 2 is 27. Now that we have renamed our mixed number as an improper fraction, bring down the rest of the equation that you had at the beginning. Next, I'm going to take the two terms on the left-hand side of our equation and cancel out both of their denominators. In this case, both of the terms have a denominator of 5. Because both terms are being divided by 5, we are going to do the opposite of that, which is to multiply by 5. Using parentheses, I am going to group both terms on the left-hand side of our equation and multiply everything inside those parentheses by 5. By doing this, we can cancel out both denominators for both terms. Notice that the terms inside the parentheses are separated by an addition sign. This means the terms are together even if they are not like terms. This means when using cancellation, both terms may be canceled out together by the single 5. If the terms are separated by a multiplication sign, we can only cancel out one of the terms because they are not combined by an addition or a subtraction sign. Remember to balance your equation by doing the same thing to the other side of your equation. Because we multiplied by 5 to cancel on the left, we must multiply by 5 on the right side of the equation. After canceling out the denominators on the left and then multiplying on the right hand side of our equation by 5, we have an expression which reads 27 times y plus 3 is equal to 165. Now we must isolate the y variable by eliminating all numerical values on the left hand side of our equation. To eliminate the plus 3 on the left hand side of our equation, we do the opposite of adding 3 which is to subtract 3. And we do the same thing on the right hand side of our equation as well so we may balance our equation out. This leaves us with 27 times y on the left hand side of our equation 162 on the right hand side of our equation. To eliminate the 27, we simply divide it by itself because any number divided by itself is 1. This will give us 1y on the left hand side of our equation. And then to balance out our equation, we take the number on the right hand side of our equation which is 162 and divide that by 27 as well. Because whatever you do to the left hand side of your equation, you must do to the right hand side of your equation as well. After dividing 162 by 27, you should come up with a solution of 6. To check our answer, you should always plug your answer into the original equation to see if you come up with a true statement. Doing just that, rewrite the entire original equation and substitute the y variable for the value that you came up with in your solution. Next, you should solve everything on the left hand side of the equation and it should equal 33. To solve this, I'm going to rename the mixed number as an improper fraction first, and then multiply that by 6. 5 and 2 fifths rewritten as an improper fraction is 27 over 5, and 27 fifths times 6 over 1 is 162 over 5. Next, we're going to add 162 fifths to 3 fifths. After doing that, we come up with an improper fraction of 165 over 5. After simplifying 165 over 5 by taking the numerator and dividing it by the denominator, we would come up with exactly 33, so our answer of 6 does indeed check out.